Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna make a little bit of a different video. Uh, just because normally um, I don't do my voice on the videos and that's because I have kids. So you will normally hear them in the background. Um, today, I think Valentina is napping. She's upstairs with her dad and Javier is upstairs playing Fortnite. So you might hear him talking, which I know it sounds a little bit weird because he yells and he gets all excited. But anyways, that's not what this video is about. So today I figured I would try this technique on a bow. So Father's Day is coming up and I have this really cute uh, ribbon that says Daddy Sunshine. And I thought it would be super cute if I were to put a picture of a dad with a baby on it. So I am doing one for my boyfriend. But because he will most likely see this video, I'm going to do this video with um, my cousin's baby and my cousin's husband. Just so that my boyfriend doesn't see what he will um, So, first you're going to need some ribbon. So this ribbon I actually sell on Facebook. I have a Facebook group called Mommy's Creation Fair Supply and I will link it down below. If you're interested in purchasing some ribbon, this has been one of my best sellers. And I have a couple of yards left in the years of the Then you are going to need some printable heat transfer paper. I got this one from Joanne's. I believe it came in a group of 10, and I will link that down below as well. Um, I use a template to make my bowls. So I bought this template off of A and L designs on Etsy. Um, it came in a pack and it has different sizes to make small bowls and bigger bowls. I really like this one. This is the biggest size I have. And it is about an inch. Then you're going to need a clip. I like to use a double prong clip just to hold on to my ribbon and you'll see in a second. You will need some needle and thread and you will need a center part for your bow. Um, I thought this was super cute so I'm just going to use this. So without further ado, let's get started. So um, let's see, I'll actually cut this first. So I was going to prep this and cut it, you know, behind the scenes, but then I figured and that just cut it through. to mention you will need a hot glue gun and you're going to need an iron. I have this little iron I bought off of Amazon. I think it was like $23 or something. But it's been a good investment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my stuff up just to mark my bow. So typically I like to leave like maybe an inch or so. Put this here okay, so it doesn't move. I'll do one, two, three, four. So that's where it should stay. And let me see. I thought it. Yep, yeah, here it is. I'm sorry, guys. I'm all over the place. Okay, so if you saw my last video um, on how to create a boutique style bow, you will see what I am doing right now, but let's just do like cliff notes. So this part goes up and this part obviously goes down and then the inside goes down and the... So 
I like to keep the back just out of parallel. This this one Okay, so if you just do it a little bit, see this is why I messed up a little. So if you let it sit on there too long, the bottom print will start coming up. But if you just Corners 
Okay, so I'm back with my attempt to fix this. So I just printed out another thing of paper. is from a and L Design on Etsy. I tried adding them on Facebook, but uh, I'm still waiting for it to get So, I'll do that. Okay, so once you do your four loops again around, I'm just gonna go ahead and make the bow real quick, and then I'll do it back. it with that little cute you know glittery thing in the middle or I could always use a resin in the middle but I like how it looks much better with the shiny stuff so that was it guys that's how I made my quick and easy DIY Father's Day bow um, if you guys don't already subscribe please subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up if you have any questions Please leave them down below. Thank you.